I was using my Galaxy Note 10 Plus the other day and got a notification for a Samsung application called Dual Messenger. And it was doing a scan of my phone. It had picked up that I had WhatsApp installed. And this is an app that I have had installed for months, if not years. And I was surprised that Samsung's One UI firmware had this dual messenger service running in the background, scanning for apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, so that it can offer you a feature that it includes in its firmware. But that's not something that I want running on my phone. So I went into the settings. I looked in the apps section. And then I went looking for this dual messenger application. Could not find it through the regular apps, which is natural. So I went and enabled system apps to find it. And you can also use the search option up at the top. So when I found the dual messenger application, the first thing I wanted to do was uninstall it. Naturally, since this is a first party application, I cannot uninstall it and Samsung will not even let me disable it. So the next option that I thought of was, all right, well, I just want to disable those notifications. I don't ever want to see those notifications again. So I go into the notification section. However, Samsung is not allowing us to disable these notifications either. Very lame. I can't even go in and control the permissions specifically. I can't deny these permissions because Samsung has hard coded this in here. So today I want to show you how that we can disable this dual messenger service that's currently running in the background of Samsung One UI devices. Even though the disable button right here is grayed out, we're able to do this with a simple ADB shell command. This does not require root access. This will not trip Knox either. However, this does require you to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC. Now I've already done a tutorial showing you how to install that. So if you do not know how to do that, look in the video description below as I'll have a link to the tutorial to show you how to install ADB and Fastboot tools on your computer. With all of that installed, we then need to open up either a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window, but it needs to be opened up within that ADB and Fastboot Tools folder. And that's why I prefer the minimal ADB and Fastboot Tools installer, because it gives me a shortcut on the desktop that I can just double click to open up a command prompt that is already in the folder that we need. Now once we have that installed, we then need to go, you probably won't need to do this since I'm going to tell you what the package name is. Samsung has the ability to change these package names. So it may have changed whenever you watch this video in the future. So if that is true, then know that you can download a package name application from the Play Store or an APK analyzer application from the Play Store. And we're just going to do a search for dual messenger. And when we search for that and find the package name for dual messenger, as of recording this video, that package name is com.samsung.android.da.daagent. It's almost like a backwards web address. So we're going to remember that. We can copy that. We can write it down. We're going to need to type out that package name in the computer. So let's go ahead and connect our phone to the PC with a USB cable and then open up that command prompt. 
So here we have the command prompt that has been opened up thanks to our minimal ADB and Fastboot Tools shortcut. I have our Samsung Galaxy smartphone connected to the PC with a USB cable. Now if you want, you can type in the command ADB space devices and press enter. That will start up the ADB service and check to make to find out if there are any devices that are currently connected to the PC. You can see if I unplug that phone from the PC and run that command again, it will not list that device that was connected before. So now when I plug that phone back in and run that command, you can see the device is listed right there. Now if you're not seeing your device listed, that means there is likely a USB related issue. It could be a USB cable. Some of my phones do not like certain cables of mine. It could be a USB port or it could be a USB driver related issue. We need to go into what is known as an ADB shell. So we type out the command ADB space shell, which is going to drop us into a shell prompt within the phone. This is as if we were executing terminal commands within the phone itself. We're going to type out the command PM space disable dash user space dash dash space zero space and then that package name which in this case for dual messenger is com.samsung.android.da.da agent once we type out all of that we're going to press enter on the keyboard you should see the ADB shell telling you that the package for dual messenger now has a new state of disabled user. And remember, as long as you are the default or only user on that device, that means that is going to be disabled for us. Now we cannot uninstall it because the dual messenger is not actually an application it's known as a app stub, and it is like a piece of a different application. So in this case, we're simply just disabling that dual messenger service entirely, because if you remember, that disable button was grayed out in the application properties page of the settings app. So let me show you that page now. If you remember from before, you would see, you would remember that the text under the dual messenger name was set to installed. And now that we have disabled the app with ADB, now you should see that switch over to disabled since we are logged into that user zero account. So there you have it. That is how to disable the Samsung dual messenger service that is constantly running in the background and sending notifications.